Shut up and sit down. Hello and welcome to <coughs> the Revel London bus build. Um, this is part zero. Um, strange number I know, but I, I got midway through this video series and realised that I'd actually um, not got any video uploaded of the paint in process, etc. So I'm having to shoot this just to go back on myself. Um, so <clears throat> pretty much every single piece got a coat of high coat primer okay this is a plastic white primer because of the size of the kit uh, my normal primer which i would use is the vallejo surface primer i'd have got through a shed load of that uh, for this build because it is a really 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 huge kit so i got myself a couple of cans of high coat white plastic primer spray paint everything had a couple of coats of that and was allowed to dry overnight um, anything that then needed touching up or repriming was recoated um, as I went through the build, depending on what type of bus uh, you guys are after, um, if you're after uh, a pretty newish, shiny example of a route master, then you might want to airbrush your top coats. <clears throat> um, me personally, I'm you know I'm going for a a worn, well-used, twenty-year-old bus that's a bit knackered. Um, it's it's had a few touch-ups it's had a bit of maintenance done on it so predominantly a lot of them were brush painted anyway um but you know a lot of you you know if you've got airbrushes you might not want to brush paint it so for your for your exterior a bit of a red x7 tamaya is uh, a good start um comes up really nice uh, airbrushes really well mix it with a bit of x20a thinners uh, this is actually a homebrew thinners that i make myself the tutorial to make that is actually on my youtube channel which appears at the end of each movie in the end credits but <clears throat> any tamaya paint you know uh, acrylics mix up with with x20a um the engine was coated with x11 flat aluminium as a base um good a good paint uh, nice base color nice and flat and then i picked out a few bits with um, chrome silver sorry x11 uh, and the base coat was flat aluminium xf16 <laughs> you can then go over the engine and, and weather bits uh, i gave it a good good dose of panel wash uh, once that had gone off and i had gone over it with a cotton bud or a q-tip for those of our american friends i then got to the engine with a mig ammo civil engine set uh, i used out of this the engine grime and the fresh engine oil uh, and then I um, went back over it after it had dried, put in a little bit of uh, black pigment here and there. And uh, as you'll see later on, you know, the engine came up to what I wanted it to be. Um, <clears throat> a good set. Um, so, yeah, that's the engine side of it. The underside floor and chassis of the bus i built everything before i painted it once i had got it built again went over it with some xf16 flat aluminium i then went over the chassis rails with a bit of x11 chrome silver let that dry um, I then picked out a few bits and pieces with me uh, MIG ammo rust set. Now, you can achieve the same result 
with these sets with a bit of uh, judacious hand painting using a stippling brush. Uh, start off with a base coat Brown X9 and then pick out a few bits I find with a little bit of flat copper XF6 and what, what you want to do is when you're uh, putting on the rust is um, dry brush it on so put a bit of paint on your brush a bit of tissue paper to get the excess off and then you want to just stipple it all over okay uh, I'll show you my head visor that's the type of effect you're going to get with the dark brown and the copper you're just stippling it all over and you can get a pretty decent effect rust doing it that way if you haven't got a weathering set let it all go off and then I went over it with a little bit of panel wash kajink and then any areas that I wanted to put a real real bit of grime in Nick Am Amtalang 502 Starship Filth man's best friend so that's what I did with the chassis um, you'll see later on um, as the build progresses uh, I'll be doing shots of the chassis and everything so you'll, you'll, you'll get an idea of the paint effect on there um, this part here the internal floors now the dark areas are your wood paneling for your planks now, I gave them a, a very thinned coat of X9 brown went over it a couple of times just because I wanted a dark wood effect on mine if you want a lighter wood then use a bit of uh, XF57 buff as your base it's very light but you can darken it with a tad of that put a tiny little bit on the brush and mix it in a mixing pot and you'll get the shade of brown that you want and then I went over that with a panel wash to pick out the planks um, these sections I did in the same color as the rest of the floor and this section here I painted flat aluminium the same as these side rails where all the air vents are they all were coated XF16 dried overnight and then some panel wash Bob's your uncle I uh, have off shot various um, pots with pre-mixed panel washes in to, to different consistencies but everything had a liberal dose of panel wash let it dry and then I went over it with a cotton bud cab was painted with XF85 rubber black because I find this unlike it, X1 is a black which is black nothing really in the world is black um, if you paint something with X1 you can't weather it but with rubber black you can you can go over it with a panel wash and it will just pick out a little few highlights and then you can dry, dry brush as well so that's what we did with that section same with the front panels but uh, I actually brush painted all of my floors if I go back to that these areas I'll just get a pen these areas marked with an X were all done with Humbrol number 20 crimson gloss an absolute perfect match for the inside of an old London bus bear in mind I'm going for a worn well used well trodden floor um, 
when you paint this, bear in mind you've got all your seats and all of that lot to go in, so you don't really see that much of the floor. So now don't worry if your brush painting skills aren't great. However, I haven't got a ball of it at the moment, but you can get Humbro enamel thinners. This is the acrylic, but you can get the enamel version. And that will thin this down nicely so that you can spray it with an airbrush if you want to just out the showroom finish. But, uh, you know, I wanted pretty much, you know, uh, a well-worn floor that had, had digs out of it with women's high heels and scrapes, scuffs and f dirt off of people's shoes. So once I painted it with this, I then went to town and distressed it, weathered it, chipped it, went over it with a, a panel wash and, and sort of got a distressed look. But that for me is the perfect match. I tried to my whole red originally, uh, which is XF9. But as you can see, it's more of a brown. Whereas that colour is absolutely spot on match so that's why I went with on that um, same with the upper deck floors they were all painted with that um, <clears throat> these side panels here again done with the humbrol number 20 so you'll, you'll see that as you go along. The same with the upper deck. Um, these grey shaded areas are all flat aluminium XF16. This dark area is the same brown for the wood planks that I used earlier. And then the side panels and these white sections here are all the humbrol number 20 and I did that with all the seats as well in the later videos you'll actually see me painting the seat but it was literally just the edge that's exposed where the decal doesn't go that had a, a brush width of that just applied to it and uh, that was that as for every other aspect any chrome parts I've used flat aluminium with a gloss varnish over the top of it then I've panel washed it and then I've matted it in certain areas, not every area, but just in certain areas to give that effect of hand wear along rails. You know, we all, you know, scratched chrome and, and things like that. Um, <clears throat> and that is pretty much the paint job I've done on mine. Uh, the window frames, I've, I've got a bit of a painted section here. The window frame rubbers XF85 to my rubber black and a gold line that I've started is just a, a normal gold leaf X12 and then I've gone over it with a panel wash. Um, I'm glad I brush painted the inside of my bus um, but again you know you guys it depends on what you're looking for depends on what your final result is. Um, I can show you a section of the rear. For me, you know, it's it's pretty dirty. It's pretty distressed. It's, you know, well knackered, you know, but that's what I want. That's just my personal choice. It's what I remember from London with the rain and the, the muck, but you know, where it had been through the bush wash. It always had streaks on the roof in general, uh, road crud. Um, you'll see at the end when it's all finished and all lit up. You know, I, I'm happy with the effect that I wanted on my particular model. Um, a lot of people will build them absolutely pristine showroom shine. So just whack a gloss straight over the top of that and don't bother weathering it if you, if, you know if that's what you're after. Um, other than that. There's, there's not really a lot. I used uh, X8 to do the insides of the uh, ceilings 
and the, the roof section of the bus. Um, and you know, that, that's just my personal personal choices with it. Um, hopefully, uh, those of you that were looking forward to, to seeing a bit of painting taking place won't be too disappointed. Um, I will be doing a bit more brush painting in a later episode where I'm putting in LED lights, etc. So, you know, for those of you that haven't painted before, I'll uh, give you a quick demo on that. But I can assure you on one of my next builds, I'll give you the full airbrushing tutorial. But, you know, if you want to see what setup I use, have a look at the um, Supercat Jackal build. You'll see me booth and everything that I've got set up that I used to spray paint that. Um, but I'll be doing more weathering anyway on this kit in the later stages. So catch up with me then. Um, subscribe to me YouTube by all means. Um, and, you know, chuck me an email, ask me a question on the discussion side of it. And, you know, I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible uh, with an honest answer. Um, enjoy your modelling. Thank you for watching.